Thanks for staying with us. Now, September 24th is World Gorilla Day. Gorillas are one of the most endangered apes whose um, population counts between 100,000 and 200,000 specimens. These giant apes are from equatorial Africa and display behavior and um, emotions surprisingly similar to humans. We humans actually share none less than 98.3% of our genetic code with them. Now, along with chimpanzees and bonobos, we all descend from a single common ape-like ancestry. But the gorilla's population has been declining from, uh, for decades due to a low rate of reproduction. Now, a female gorilla bears only about three to four babies in her lifetime, making gorillas an endangered species. So today... It's a day we need to support and find ways to populate them. <laughs> Are you going to, you going to mutate with gorillas I don't know. to extend their lineage or what? I don't know what we, we can do, but we need, to, we need to help it's, them. It's, it's natural that it's an ecological succession. Some that's, things have to be phased out. It's a natural order. Uh, but I don't want them to be phased out. Too. Yeah, but that's why we human are a form of replacement for, an advanced replacement for the ape, isn't it? But also, because that we are not having, some are saying, I don't want to get married. Some of us are saying, I don't want to have children. Not even, it's not even too safe now. I don't want to have kids. I know women that are the saying that I'm not interested in having Trust kids. me, we, don't, we all don't need to have kids. We have enough population of those that are willing to have kids to maintain Our the population, are, yes, are you so, sure? I believe so. Can you not see the numbers? No matter what census they do, it's never the right <laughs> reflection of the population of this country. Well, that's true. How much true. of the world population. That's true. So we're not going anywhere in a hurry. That's true. All right. So yeah. happy World Gorilla Day. Mm. Okay. So Milola, what did you find for us in the news today? What I found in the news is something. I actually saw this news first yesterday online. And there's, because there was a lot of... The news well, trended for a while people. and people were really pushing. I find it quite dehumanizing that another hu woman will do that to another woman mm. and that was a court member being forced to kneel down and some liquid water or dirty water would be poured on her by a female soldier but the army had reacted to that post because there was a lot of tag on particular i think i saw it on she will look at his page and mm. there was a lot of tag and that has generated a, a response from the army and this is what they had to say the army said they listed the dehumanizing female cop for trial, saying that the assault is embarrassing and they find it rather unfortunate. The Nigerian army has said a female soldier by the name Chika Aneli, seen in a viral video dehumanizing a member of the Nigerian of the National Youth Service Corps, will be tried for unprofessional conduct. The incident happened at a brigade headquarters in Calabar, Cross River State. And the, whoever did the recording exposed it to social media, and the footage has gone viral. Also, the minister for, there's another reaction from the Minister of Women Affairs, who also said that she is relocating the victim to Lagos. And I found that reaction a bit interesting. Hmm. Is that the best way to address the issue? Is that the solution? <laughs> yes, relocating us to Lagos, does that prevent? What about other core members? What effort are being put in place to mitigate this level of abuse? Because hmm. there's a lot of well, abuse I want to ask a question, in, in, in NYC camps under the pretense that you're going through paramilitary training. Okay, now thank you for landing there. You see this military lady now, hmm. right? How did she go through her own paramilitary training? Because you cannot give what you do not have. Do you understand? People actually project a lot of things based on their own experiences. So, so it's possible that during the military trainings, things like this do not mean anything to them. Mm. Right? You understand? So it's why like, did they come out to say, oh, what she did is natural. This is how they were trained. That's eh, like, you know, they, the they cannot say that, first out. of all, that we, do not, we do not see, nobody records their own paramilitary training. That's number one. Secondly... The military training? The, yeah, the military training. We are training. To be going through a... Uh, sorry, the military... Yes, yeah, the military, nobody records it, so we do not mm. know what goes on. How severe. How, how, how do you There are some it? things that you might you consider that... They might not consider it as anything because they go through even worse conditions in terms of how to build them to be dogged and all of that, right? Yeah. So that one is one. So this woman might not even see that she's doing anything wrong. That's why she would have the audacity to do it. And let me tell you why they might not come out to say that uh, this is how the military trains or this is how the military, uh, whatever. Hey, why? Because this one has generated a lot of buzz. Because if it, 
once they come out to say no, this is that's fine. People with all eyes, all eyes will, will now will be um, pointing towards the military, and people will put their eyes. And they, I'm not sure they want that. So that's why they had to make her escape. Good. It's possible. Their it's possible board. because I know I, I saw a video online one time in the U.S. A military lady, she was prayed, uh, what was it called? Very harsh. In fact, she was crying. Mm. Maybe it, this one is pepper spray, but the, one, the pepper spray is really pepper because she couldn't even open her eye. And she had to do some drills, go and touch it, touch it with so her eyes closed. That is part it's still of the, part of the military the training. Yes. Building to, them tough. For thank the war. you. Sometimes they are fight. kept in the winter, kept in the, they sleep on mud. Hostile. You weather. understand? They sleep mm. inside gutters, muddy, whatever, roll on the floor. So those are part of what they do when it comes to military training, you understand? Because you do not know, maybe if you are sent to a war zone... How you would cope that and is adjust. It. So, but, this but they can't come out to say, this members. is what they are doing. These are youth call members. And that's where the issue is, yes. They didn't have to be to in be, the military. Exactly. <laughs> so there's a form of abuse to that. There should be some measure yeah. of control around the best way to punish... Uh, any court member that misbehaves or falls yeah. out of line. At first, everybody was even worried that what was that substance there because people were worried. I felt, yeah. I felt I could decipher that it was muddy water. Uh, the way she was pouring. Okay, so I have was... quick two quick stories I want to take. The um, Kenya High Court declares housewife a full time payable job. I'm so happy about this. Ah. <laughs> I said, when is it coming to Nigeria? <laughs> Now, now the, the this has been this was declared in Kenya. So hopefully, the judge who was presiding over matrimonial property disputes said that it is unfair for courts to rule that housewives do not contribute anything to financial progress of the family. And um, so for for this, they have made it that it is um, it is easy for spouse working away from home and sending money to lay claim to the whole property purchased. So now what they are saying is that you know based on family disputes and all of that, let's you know what. Let women that are full-time housewives start to receive salary. salary. I'm happy Makes about sense. that. Mm. Makes a whole lot I think they should bring it to Nigeria. There's a lot of women, there's a lot of work we women do. You know, there was, a, there was a recent post I saw about a guy who thought that because he's the head of the family and he makes provision, that should be enough for him to get whatever he needs as the head of the family. Mm. Only for him to discover with, with, with experience the level of strain and stress on the woman having to keep the home, having to manage the baby, having to manage her business. Now and realize the there's no small work. He appreciated the work that he does. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that women get paid for being housewives. Absolutely. Then in line with what we're talking today, one of the communities in Nigeria, um, AGS tribe, I believe that's the name of the tribe, um, she just got partnership with, so um, just congratulations to her. Just in line with what we're talking about today. Okay. AGS tribe um, and Amazon partner on female empowerment. Now, a woman-focused community that enables women to achieve um, success. That's AGS tribe has partnered with Amazon, an e-commerce uh, conglomerate, to bring opportunities to women and youth in Nigeria and other countries in Africa. In a statement made available to the correspondent today uh, in Lafia, the founder of AGS, that's Ifedro Simi Ete, explained that the partnership with Amazon was to ensure that women occupy top um, positions um, in organizations for them to be beneficially independent. So with our partnership with Amazon, we look forward to seeing more women, not just uh, in top roles with Amazon, but also seeing them earn as much or even more than their male counterparts as long as they are qualified. So this is going to be a huge shift and push in uh, in the push and push in the right direction. As an organization, we will continue to put in our best foot forward um, by not just providing these opportunities for women, but also preparing them for such opportunities. So AGS tribe is one tribe that prepares you, you know, for career success. Mm. So I'm happy about it because I mean it's why a, I took this story is because it's in line with what we're talking about today. Absolutely. There are different communities like that. Young people, young entrepreneurs must begin to see some of these things and find ways to, way plug, to part of it. Yeah. plug in and you know harness leverage. and leverage on it for growth. Leverage yeah. is the word. Absolutely. Mm. All right, so we'll take a break now. When we come back from the break, we'll be having um, a conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back.